Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. We're going over the next few videos to be talking about magnetic loop antennas. Uh, they're more technically referred to as small HF loops, but a lot of people call them mag loops. The name is, is stuck. Uh, they're everywhere. You can get them anywhere. And that brings me to a subject of cost versus benefit. That didn't sound very good. That brings me to the subject of cost versus benefit. Now here's the deal. There are antennas with a variety of gains relative to a dipole. The dipole, since there is no such thing in actual practice of an isotropic antenna, we tend to measure things against a dipole. Now, I know in the general class book it says that a dipole has a gain over an isotropic antenna of 2.15 dB. That's true in free space. However, none of us live in free space. So if you model an isotropic radiator sitting at a half wavelength height versus a dipole sitting at a half wavelength height, the dipole has quite a bit more gain, more like 5 dB over the isotropic. But we tend to measure antennas relative to a dipole. So that comes down as DBD, Delta Bravo Delta, with the Bravo being capitalized. Decibels relative to a dipole. Now, in mathematics, there's a very interesting number, and that number is one. Uh, anything divided by itself is one. One multiplied by itself any number of times, by the way, including zero, is one. No matter what you do, the one with other ones, you always get a one. Now, there's a word for this in mathematics. It's called unity. Uh, the word has biblical origins, uh, where Christ talked about, if ye are not one, you are not mine. He's talking about people coming together and uh, being united. Now that, that term is stuck in mathematics, and it's used a lot. When what we're trying to show is that when two things are identically equal, we can show that they're Divide one by the other, and you get what is usually called unity, meaning the two are always the same, and they're equal to one. Now, an antenna that has unity gain is uh, the same as a dipole. Dipole, for example, has unity gain. Okay, There's a whole class of antennas that have unity gain. The best you can do with these antennas is as good as a dipole. If you do somewhat less than that, you have less than unity gain. Now, this is very important to understand. There are many different types of gain antennas, meaning not unity gain, but a greater gain than a dipole. I'm talking about Yagis, hex beams, uh, whatever you want to put up. Yeah, the squares instead of the, the uh, um, quads. Like um, quads and so on. The thing about unity gain is that manufacturers will just kind of skip over that as they introduce you to their latest expensive antenna. For example, an ordinary ground-mounted vertical has unity gain. It has the same gain as a dipole. Okay, Slightly different radiation pattern, but unity gain. Now, if you make that vertical fancy, it can operate without radials. That's because it's actually electrically a half-wave dipole that's fed at the end. But that is a unity gain antenna. Same gain as the dipole. 
you can pay hundreds of dollars for a vertical, an all-band vertical for HF, that has, and it will never have more than, unity gain. So why not just make an antenna yourself? You can. We showed in a recent video how you can make an antenna that works on 40, 20, and 10, and it picks up 15 for free. So it's a four-band antenna. Unity gain antenna. Okay, made of scrap materials. And for not very much money. Well, uh, what did it spend? I think five dollars in materials it wasn't very much unity gain antenna now i want you to look at these antennas and here is an example this is an advertisement from precise rf in qst a recent qst they have three mag loops notice that the antennas are essentially identical they have slightly bigger capacitor boxes. This one right here um, has to be tuned manually. So it has to sit right next to you. This one right here, there's remote tuning. And here, this one right here, you've got some automatic tuning, which is really nice for one of these antennas. Now, I want you to look at the prices on these antennas. $535, $1,335, each of these antennas has unity gain. They're equal to a dipole or somewhere close. Okay, here's uh, some of the high gain HF vertical antennas. We'll take a look at these. And the AV640 is the one I've kind of looked like. This has um, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6. Okay? It costs $660. Okay? This is a unity gain antenna. Now, this down here is not a unity gain antenna. It's a beam. Okay, so there are non-unity gain antennas that you can get. A hex beam probably being the most popular. But I want you to keep this in mind as you pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a unity gain antenna that what you are gaining is convenience, ease of operation, something like that, um, and not think that because you're paying $1,300 for an antenna, that it's going to perform any better than a dipole. Now, if you live in an apartment and you really, really want to get on the air, you can spend a little bit more on a loop because it can be a little bit more automatic. Otherwise, you have to be right next to it in order to adjust it. Now, we're going to do a series of videos on uh, a unity gain antenna from Chameleon Electronics. It's a very nice antenna. Uh, it's known as their F-Series Loop, and it comes in three flavors. And we're going to look at the three flavors, put each one of them together, and try it. And I'm going to put up another mag loop. I think my... Uh, I've got, I'll find one. I've got several of them. And we'll try to see, you know, if one's slightly better than the other. Uh, but what we're going to find in these cases, most cases, is that these loops act like a dipole. They're unity gain antennas. So stop and think when you're going to spend money on an antenna. I know this is hard to do and can sometimes be very disappointing when you would love to spend $700 on an antenna uh, because it offers so many bands and things like that when actually what you can do, a whole lot less expensively, uh, yourself, unity gain. That's the thing to think of. If it's a unity gain antenna, it has the same gain, give or take, as a dipole. So why not just put up a dipole? So there you have it. Okay, we're going to look at some other videos, 
and we're going to open the box on uh, this one and we'll put that in the next video and I'll try and get them in order. Uh, we'll put the URLs in the text down below the video. Uh, YouTube is not very good about presenting uh, videos in sequence. So it'd be nice to take a look at all these antennas. And keep in mind that what we're talking about here is a unity gain antenna. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.